Senator Wicker. Uh, Mr. Chairman, one bit of housekeeping. In, in response to Senator Corker, uh, Mr. Holbrook uh, referenced a report. I'd like to ask unanimous consent that that report be inserted in the record of this hearing at that point in the testimony. Without objection, the report will be in the... I, I think the, uh, I, it, the context is important there, and I don't want people who read this uh, uh, transcript to have to refer back to a previous hearing, so thank you for that. Um, you know, I, I think, Ambassador Holbrook, you have uh, answered a lot of questions today, and, uh, and clearly um, you are um, an experienced and long-suffering <laughs> diplomat, and you have demonstrated <laughs> that today, too. Um, why are we in Afghanistan today in 2010? Well, we are in Afghanistan because of 9-11. And we're in Afghanistan in 2010 because uh, we still are not sure uh, that the situation that arose from Afghanistan in 2001 might not happen again there. Um, I, I think you've made a compelling case that there are direct threats to the United States of America that could arise from that area. I think you've made an excellent case about the unique strategic position of Afghanistan and its neighbor, Pakistan. Clearly, we're interested in Yemen. We're inter interested in Somalia, but there are things about the location in Afghanistan that give Al-Qaeda an advantage for being in Afghanistan that they would not have to have if they uh, had to rely on a safe haven in Yemen or Afghanistan. Um, you made a very telling statement, Mr. Ambassador, about the consequences if we walk away from Afghanistan as we did 20 years ago. And I believe that's almost a direct quote of, uh, of your testimony today, that the results could be catastrophic as they were uh, earlier because we walked away. And in that context, I want to ask you to respond, Mr. Ambassador, to the comments of CIA Director Leon Panetta uh, recently uh, when he said that U.S. officials had not seen any firm intelligence that insurgent troops in Afghanistan are interested in reconciliation, which I think we've acknowledged in this room today is important if we're going to bring this effort to a successful conclusion. Mr. Panetta said this, and you've read the testimony, but let me quote for the record, uh, we have seen no evidence that they are truly interested in reconciliation, where they would surrender their arms, where they would denounce Al-Qaeda, where they would really try to become part of that society. Um, my view is that unless they're convinced the United States is gonna win and that they are gonna be defeated, I think it is very difficult to proceed with a reconciliation that is going to be meaningful. That's as far as I will quote uh, this president, CIA director, and ask you to respond there. Uh, you may feel that the president's position on the July 2011 beginning of withdrawal is clear, as, you, as you've said. But I would submit to you, Mr. Ambassador, that it is not clear to everyone who listens, and it's not clear to the Taliban, and it's not clear to the people who feel threatened by the Taliban. I agree with you. They, uh, the, the vast majority, overwhelming majority, of Afghan people do not want the Taliban back, but they are legitimately worried about who would fill a vacuum if indeed they are in interpreting the president's position in, in, in a way that is different from the way you are. We have walked away before, 
according to your own testimony. And so how can uh, our enemy in Afghanistan who might be willing to acquiesce and say, yes, we want to be part of a, of a peaceful society and a peaceful government, how can they feel that they're going to be defeated if we are sending a signal that, that depending on, on conditions on the ground, in 2011, we might yet make a decision to walk away. Um, Senator, in regard to Director Panetta's comments that you quoted, I agree with his comments. They are not inconsistent with what I said uh, because he was referring to reconciliation the idea of higher level negotiations or effectively negotiations uh, with the leadership of the Taliban Supreme Shura, also known as the Quetta Shura. And, and the press at the time of his hearing was filled with reports, erroneous reports, of deals in the offing. It just wasn't true. And uh, Director Panetta was trying to clarify the record and what he said was precisely right. I have been talking about reintegration. The program announced, supported by the US and the international community, which is so critical to take fighters off the battlefield. There's a, some overlap between the two, but I, I think we all see the clear distinction. In regard to your other question, um, you, you've stated correctly the misunderstandings. All I can say is that the misunderstandings are in an ironic sense enhanced by constant questioning of the date. The president has been clear in what he said. I've tried to be clear this afternoon in testifying before you. But some people continually, in the, in the guise of helping the United States, some people assert that the president is, is leaving uh, when he made clear he is not. He is starting a withdrawal and that it will be, the size and scope and pace will be determined based on the situation and our national security interests, but some troops will begin to leave. That's a big distance from the misperception that both you and I have seen. And I, sh I understand your point because it concerns me greatly. And I never make a speech where this doesn't come up, and uh, especially overseas. So I appreciate your comments, and I, I take them to heart. Thank you very much, Senator Wicker. Senator Webb. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.